friends and welcome back to Amanda Muse. Today we are talking brows. I'm going to share with you my current eyebrow routine. Very simple. I seem to be getting a lot of comments on my eyebrows these days and I have switched up my routine just somewhat slightly um, and I am definitely going for a full brow look. So if this is something you're interested in then please keep watching. These eyebrows are in their natural state. I've done my makeup except for my eyebrows, so I haven't even brushed them, so they look a little cray cray. But um, I basically use two products. I use this eyebrow pencil from M Pro. It has the spoolie on one side and the color on the other. And this is a triangle shaped pencil in the color blonde. I also recently added Gimme Brow from Benefit to my collection, and this is a mascara for your eyebrows and it also has fibers and color. It can be used alone without a pencil. I just like the combination of the two. My eyebrow philosophy is such that leave them alone. I feel like when you're 13 and you're ready to pluck your eyebrows, somebody needs to step in and intervene because it's just like the worst idea ever. Never shorten your eyebrows. You can just leave them in their natural arch, their natural shape. It tends to be the best look for your face. To be honest, I don't even know where my tweezers are. I tweeze occasionally, and when I do tweeze, I kind of just tweeze underneath just to kind of like take away any strays. If there's any extras coming down over here, I'll get those. But I basically just leave them alone. I always loved a big brow. I think it's very flattering, and I think it changes the whole look and feel of your face. I never used to fill in my eyebrows, and then I think just after starting YouTube and paying more attention to makeup products and all of those things, I started to realize how much of a difference it actually makes. I start out by simply brushing my eyebrows using just light strokes. I start to just fill in my eyebrow and I follow the natural flow of the hair. I add in, as you can see, just above my eyebrow here, it's a little bit sparse, I add in the line, but I try to make it as natural as possible so I add color and then I brush and I add color and I brush so I feel like it keeps that natural flow. I prefer to add layers rather than to be one really strong looking line. I also use the three point system starting just at the bridge at the tip of your nose here then if you go at an angle from the corner of your nose above your iris should be where the arch is and then from the tip corner of your nose to the corner of your eye should be where your eyebrow ends. So my eyebrows do naturally follow that. I do have to add a little bit of length. So there would be, just with the eyebrow pencil, um, my initial go on this eyebrow. So then I move to the next eyebrow. So I always stop midway and look at my eyebrows. Like if I look in the um, in the screen right now, this eyebrow looks significantly darker. So then I just if you brush out some of the product, it starts to match the other one. When I feel like I kind of have the look I'm going for, I then take the Benefit Gimme Brow, and the lady in the store advised me to do like a couple of dots, and then you brush it through. So I still maintain that, and I just brush it through like I would in the flow of the hair. Now this product does contain color, so color within the lines. But I feel like it just uh, sets everything in place and adds a little bit of extra volume, which as you know I love. So there's one, it's gonna complete the other one. And this is my completed eyebrow look. It is quite a heavy brow, quite a full brow, but I feel like it really suits my face and it's the look I like to achieve at the moment. So that is my completed eyebrow look. It's pretty simple, following the three point rule and I just use two products. It seems to be working for me. A lot of people seem to be commenting on it, so that I appreciate. And that is the scoop, my friends. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up at me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter and catch me here on YouTube three times a week. All right, you guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. My thoughts on baby lead is that I think it's really cool, I think it's really messy, and I just don't know that I have the facilities to do that right now. Like if I'm sitting in a restaurant with him, I don't exactly want to have like pasta all over the floor more than it will be, do you know what I mean? Because kids are messy anyway. So it's kind of like maybe once I get to